Live from the financial capital of the world, in the heart of Lower Manhattan, the New York Stock Exchange. This is Squawk on the Street. Good morning, everybody. He does, as do all of his partners and the people that he talks to. He joins us, uh, you know, he comes in every once in a while and talks about exactly where he's putting his money. Michael Sonnenfeld is the founder of Tiger 21, peer-to-peer -peer learning group, and, and you've got to have $10 million to get in there. So, well, we don't make the cut, I guess. But that's okay. Luckily, we uh, have the opportunity to talk to him about what they're doing right now. And, you know, you've been talking over the past few months with us about where people are investing, private equity, hedge funds, stocks. What are they uh, doing over the past three weeks? Have people become afraid, knee-jerk reactions, or is everyone staying the course? Well, most of our members are mostly standing pat. They're not overreacting. Uh, you know, when I was here before, we talked, they had already started raising cash. So our members have a little more cash. Some of them see this as a real buying opportunity. Others are saying, let's see what happens in the next couple weeks. The worst is not over. Mm -hmm. But by and large, our members are diversified. And as a result, while they've been through this, one of our members sent me an email that said, I've been through a rodeo before, and this ain't the first, and it won't be the last. <laughs> is, the, uh, is the membership, if, if you talk to them on the subject, I don't know. I do, yeah. Uh, are they, are they uh, of a mind that the Fed is going to lower rates? Because we've been discussing how this might be getting baked into the market, setting us up for a disappointment. Right, right. I don't know if there's a collective opinion about that. I think what everybody says is the game isn't over yet. It's too early to tell whether you need the Fed to lower rates or instill confidence in other ways. Uh, you know, you hear things like dead cat bounces and all those kind of things. The bottom line is there's still an overhang of two to four hundred billion dollars of bridge loans that have to get worked through the system. and. The problem, the, the depth of this issue is not seen just in the stock market. If you're in a credit-based business, right now the markets are still very shut down. And until it starts opening up and flowing normally, we're not going to be back on a normal footing. Any opinion on whether it uh, ultimately results in uh, a recession? Uh, too early to tell. The, the few members, we, we polled our members. We have an internal network. And uh, I brought about 30 comments I got in the last 24 hours. Most of our members say it's really up to the evolution of how the Fed reacts. Until the Fed opened up last week with the discount window, things were getting pretty precipitous. You saw some positives in the stock market, but if, as I say, if you're in the credit business, you still got a lot of problems ahead of you. Now, when you're just looking at the breakdown here, credit problems a lot ahead of us, okay. Looking at your average person's sure. breakdown of their portfolio, 11% in personal real estate. Now right. these, I'm assuming, are the highest end properties. You're probably all right there. 16% sure. investment real estate, 9% uh, private equity, and 10% in hedge funds. Right. Um, some of these, uh, some of your, your pals here must have taken, uh, at least short term, a pretty big hit. Sure, sure. Remember, hedge funds, there are 8,000 hedge funds. Some stocks have gone up and some have down. Hedge funds across the board, uh, you can't make an opinion. But this has mm -hmm. probably been the most volatile month for hedge funds in maybe a decade. How it ends up may hide that because hedge funds only report month over month results. Right. But during the month, you had ups and downs. But there's been a lot of volatility there. Less so in the market neutral side, less so in the fund of fund side. So there's a lot of diversity even within the are hedge they, fund are they, world. Are they staying the course there? Because we talked about August 15th being such a big day yeah. that you know folks like you could go in and say, you know what, I want my money back. Right. Were, were people talking about that? Were people pulling their money out of hedge yeah. funds? Most of our members are taking an attitude that they've already been planning for this. We've been discussing what's going on now for over a year in our groups. We didn't know what would it be. The subprime is not the only issue going on. It's just where the ice started to crack. Mm -hmm. But where those fault lines go is still being seen. And those issues, the housing market, the dollar policy, that's what we discuss every month in our groups. So most of our members have already positioned for this to some degree. It could get a lot worse and it would change. Um, your uh, one of the major props to this stock market was the activity of private equity. Right. The buyouts were both uh, uh, directly supportive and yep. uh, psychologically supportive. Sure. Uh, any thoughts on how all of this might affect private equity? You Look, mentioned two to four hundred billion dollars kind of hanging out there. Yeah. Um, one way you could answer it is Berkshire Hathaway has done well in this market because they're a long-term player. If you take a long-term view, wealth is created through private equity, through companies building. 
In the short term, private equity is going to have a tough time because the credit spreads have widened, deals are going to get done slower, and the number of mul the multiples that the deals are done at is going to come down. So if you're a buyer and you have a clean balance sheet now, it's going to be a great opportunity in the next period of time. But if you already have a portfolio of deals, they're going to be hit, and if you have a portfolio of deals in process, you may have trouble getting them done. All right. Thanks for coming in, Mike. Always good to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you.